Give it up for Sean Fletcher, everyone. Let's hear it. Hello, hello. Let's start off, tell you guys a little bit about me. Um, I'm not racist. But, you know, don't get me wrong. Uh, some of my best friends are racist. Um, for example, I, I put this thing up on Facebook the other day. I was going to go up to the Bronx to uh, you know, visit the zoo. See if anybody wanted to come along. Sure enough, one of my buddies responds right away. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'd love to spend a day up there with the primates. Yeah, maybe it did mean the zoo. Maybe it is me. I don't know. Um, uh, I'm not gay. All right. You know, again, don't get me wrong. Some of my best sex has been with the gays. <laughs> I just don't like the word, you know? I'm just not gay. You know, <laughs> and who came up with that word anyway? Like, what? You know, it just doesn't really seem to make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, basically, you're breaking the world down into heterosexual and happy. And I, I know a lot of gays that aren't happy either. It's, uh, it just doesn't make sense. And really, when you think about it, the only difference between gay guys and straight guys is that gay guys sleep only with men. Um, you know, there was a time, though, when, when uh, I guess, you know, there were happier times when you could be, you know, when the gays were gayer. Like back in the 70s when it was wild and crazy and everybody was doing everybody. And yeah, sure, everybody would, you know, was still in the closet, but, you know, there were five other guys in there and they're all having sex. <laughs> I, uh, you know, that, but then, you know, then, then the AIDS comes along, you know. Uh, yeah. AIDS does for, uh, did to gay sex what, you know, pregnancy did to straight sex a long time ago. <laughs> sort of, you know, makes you think about it. And the fucking, fucking consequences. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, think about sex a lot. Um, <laughs> And uh, sometimes it actually even comes in handy. I uh, used to sell furniture, and uh, I made a lot of pretty good commissions because I'd be able to size people up, and I wouldn't know what, which bedroom set to sell them <laughs> just by kind of visualizing them. You know, we have a saucy broad like this, you know. Yeah, we're going for the four-poster. <laughs> you know? We got a little more of an outdoorsy couple over here. Yeah, the sleigh bed. You know, then there's, you know, you get that, that sort of mousy conservative couple, and, you know, I just feel bad for her, but the most I could do is, like, maybe the quilted headboard. <laughs> yeah, um... What was I? <laughs> um... I heard somebody say they like the shirt. So. Uh, um, but yeah, actually, uh, you know, thinking about sex is great, but you know, having sex is even better, of course. And uh, I actually, I actually do get laid actually quite a bit. I know you're, um, <laughs> you know, you're probably looking at me and you're like, he gets laid at all. <laughs> no, I actually, I actually get laid, uh, actually get laid a lot. And uh, I have, you know, two really, really simple rules. I'm going to share with you guys. You know, we're all friends now. He'll let you in on it. <laughs> Two special rules that you need to know to get laid a lot. Rule number one, you have got to have standards. You've got to have standards. Okay? That's most important. Rule number two, those standards have to be really, really low. <laughs> okay. You keep that bar really low, and you just take everything that comes over it. You know, I walk into a room full of supermodels and porn stars in some nightclub, I'm completely invisible. It's like, why bother? You know? But uh, to find a kind of an average crowd, like uh, some over there. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and I'm a hot property all of a sudden, so it, uh, it works for me. And on that note, I'm gonna, that's my time on that one. Thanks.
everyone.